Hello guys, if you visit XDR developers very often, then you will find many people saying that they don't have any signal or have lost IMEI or have a corrupt EFS partition. And if you get this error, then it will be a huge deal to fix it. And this error can be solved only if you have the backup of your EFS partition. So in this video, let's take a look how to backup the EFS partition so that in future, if anything goes wrong, we can restore that partition and be on the safer side. For this, you will need an app called as terminal emulator you can download this app from the play store i'll give the link of this app in the description below so don't forget to check that out now open this application you will see something like this now give the first command as su this will grant super user access to this and uh, just grant the permission yeah i forgot to mention that you need to have root permissions to do this and if you want to root your device then i have a video you can click over here or i'll give the link of this video in the description below so don't forget to check that out if you want to root your device and now there are two big commands which you have to write over here so i'll just copy and paste those commands so just copy the first command and paste it in the terminal emulator and hit enter it will say as bytes transferred in 0.170 seconds after you see something like this copy the second command and paste it in the terminal emulator once again and now hit enter after you see this type of messages uh, the modem files will be stored on the internal sd card so as you can see over here there are two files named as modem st1.bin and modem st2.bin in future if you lose the efs or if you get a corrupted efs partition then you can flash these files and there is another way to do this is that by flashing a zip file through twrp recovery let's see that method too for that method simply boot into recovery mode and after you boot into recovery mode select install and select the zip file named as my backup.zip i'll give the link of this zip file in the description below so don't forget to check that out and select my backup.zip and just swipe to confirm flash so the zip installation has been completed so let's go ahead and reboot into system so the files backed up by the zip file are uh, stored into my backup the folder is named as my backup and you will see these two files as modem st1.back and modem st2.back the extension of these files is .bak and the earlier and earlier when we used the terminal emulator method extension was .bin do not worry even if you have followed any of the method because while restoring the files you just have to write fastboot flash modem st1.bin or .bak according to the method you have used or the file you have and just flash that after you flash that the efs partition should be back and working so this was one of the most important things you should do with your oneplus one when you are starting to play around with it like like installing roms and everything so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel because many more videos on oneplus one are coming soon so thank you guys thank you for watching